and then Benjamin Sesko, this fantastic talent of Red Bull uh, Salzburg. Really important week for Sesko. It's a really, really important week for his decision because May United had many contacts with his agents. Salzburg wanted to sell him next summer, but now they know that they are going to receive proposals. But it's not only Manchester United. Also other clubs, and I will keep you posted, are keeping tabs on Sesko, are interested in Sesko. And this is why timing will be important for May United if they really want to sign Sesko. They consider him a top talent, but it's now time to be fast because also other clubs are interested in Benjamin Sesko. And my feeling is this name will be on the news this week with many updates because things are happening around Benjamin Sesco. Interesting update there from Fabrizio Romano as he speaks about the situation surrounding Sesco. Manchester United having to act quick if they want to get this deal complete, if they want to bring this player in because there is seemingly a lot With of the deal interest. Dragging now, on, this kind of tells you... Alternatives will this kind of tells you that there is a... A view that this is a real top talent. And Manchester United wants to go out there. They want to be able to get a deal like this done. They want to be able to get a deal like this over the line. On top of that, as you just heard there, Melissa Reddy today has been speaking about the situation with an alternative to Frankie de Jong. Alternatives will come into play. Um, and one of the names that we know that they have looked at and have been interested in is Ruben Neves of Wolves. There's long-standing interest from the Old Trafford side in him because of his stylistic profile, um, incredible passing range, obviously a threat as well from distance in terms of goal scoring, controls tempo really well, all the things you'd pretty much want from an anchor in a progressive kind of side. We know Wolves value him upwards of, of £60 million. Pounds. You hear there from Melissa Reddy, another deal that maybe Man United need to act quickly on. There is talk that De Jong prefers Chelsea. There is talk that Chelsea will go in for Frankie De Jong. So Man United now have got to get their ducks in a row. Man United have got their got to get their house in order, essentially. Shishko is available, potentially, for the right amount of money, but you've got to act quick. Because a number of clubs, including Chelsea, including Newcastle, want him. And as Melissa Reddy said there, £60 million is what Wolverhampton's, what Wolverhampton Wanderers want for Ruben Neves. But will Manchester United get that deal done or not? remains to be seen. Make sure the like button is being smashed. Make sure you're leaving your comments below. A big few weeks ahead for Man United as the Premier League season rolls in. Let's go. Lots of stories circulating in relation to Manchester United in the past 24 to 48 hours. And a lot of that is around Benjamin Shesko. What are Man United going to do? How are they going to act? The secondary deal is always Frankie Dion. Now, there remains a confidence at Manchester United that they will get this deal done. They will get this deal over the line. And if you end up signing Sesco and you end up signing Frankie de Jong, then brilliant business. You add that to the three signings already made, and it is a brilliant first summer for Eric Ten Hag. Still a long way to go. Still a long way to integrate the style, integrate the system, and for Man United to really be considered a threat. I don't think any of the top six look at Man United in a, in, in a threatening way at all right now. And I understand that notion from rival fans. I get it. It makes sense i don't think anybody is kind of out there thinking like they're being mis you know man united you know, being misrepresented in terms of being a threat i do think people are over egging how bad the window has been but that's for another day when it comes to these deals man united got to act man united got to be quick man united got to try and get their foot in the door sooner rather than later in, in my opinion i'm going to tell you as to why but before that i really want to speak about our sponsors today private internet access now PIA are one of the leading VPN providers worldwide. Over 500 of our viewers of the Football Terrace are now using this on a day-to-day -day basis. And we can get you an 82% discount, three months free, and a 30-day money-back guarantee to secure all your data, not just from hackers, not just from people that want to steal your card details, your passwords, thumbprints, and much more, 
but also big tech companies, big businesses that, that want to go out of their way. I want to take your data and make money with it. The VPN protects that from happening. On top of that, it's available on all your devices. So your laptop, your, your desktops, your iMacs, your iPhones, Androids, and much, much more. And one of the, the, the fun features of a VPN provider is the ability to get content anywhere around the world. Go and check it out. We'll scroll down here and show you £1.63 is all this is going to cost you. You simply need to click on the link in the description below or scan the QR code that you see on the screen right now. Get yourself signed up. Now, I've already mentioned that Man United got back quickly. Why is, is, is the big thing here? We listen to Fabrizio Romano. We listen to Melissa Reddy when it comes to these deals. And it's very key to... It's key to understand where they're coming from. Man United are confident over Frankie de Jong, as we have already mentioned. But if Chelsea come in, I don't think any Man United fan in their heart of hearts, I don't even think Man United believe they get the player. Don't believe it. If Chelsea say, I am, if Chelsea say, we will. If Chelsea put that money in, the head will be turned. Now, a lot of rivals think, well, you know, Chelsea, if they land for Fana, if they land Kukurea, are they really going to have enough money left to buy Frankie de Jong? They might sell someone. <laughs> Maybe a midfield player they're, they're, not, they're not looking to sell to next year. They sell for 30, 40, 50 million pounds, and suddenly new money has been raised. But Man United need to act quick with someone like Ruben Neves because the last thing we want to do is get caught on the hop late in the window with no alternative if you lose Frankie de Jong. And this is where it becomes really difficult for a lot of Man United fans. I'll say, oh, Terry, but you said that we should get the manager's number one target and wait. Yeah. If, his number, if the number one target signs a new deal with Barca for lower money, that plan's dead. If that number one target joins a rival club, that plan is dead. This is where we see how good Man United's recruitment has been this year. This is how good we see the new regime are. Now, they can get better, but this gives us a real acid test. Are we confident and confident for the right reasons where we land this player? Or do we get stung? Do we miss out on Frankie? And by the time we turn around to a Neves, he says, you know what? It's too late in the window. I don't want to move now. We saw that very famously with Arsenal and Thomas Lamar all those years ago. He wanted to move. They put some bids in. They didn't get accepted. They left it too long. Final day of the transfer window, a hundred odd million pound bid. The player said, it's too late now. I, I, I don't want to think about this at this point. And that's what Man United have got to mitigate against. And you look at the same thing with Benjamin Sisko. Very talented. Newcastle won him. Chelsea have held talks. Chelsea, are they likely to go in for him when they've already got Broja? Probably not. Newcastle United. Listen, they're throwing money at this project. We all knew they were going to, you know, they're on a mission to get to the very top. However, and I, and I mean this, Manchester United need to secure this player as well. If he is as good as the scouts think he is, if he's as good as he's being touted, if you read the reports on him right now, forget since he's been linked to Man United, read scouting reports from two weeks back before he was ever linked to Man United. A lot of people think this individual is the real deal, a superstar of the future. Man United needs to make an offer that makes Salzburg say yes now. And I'll tell you as to why. Because there are no guarantees that even with Benjamin Shesko, we make the Champions League this year. Winning the Europa League can be tough. We know that. Equally, Chelsea, Spurs, Arsenal are all improving. United could get exponentially better this season and still miss out on the top four position. And if Benjamin is as good as people are touting him to be, and as a season people expect if he stays at Salzburg, more and more top-level clubs are coming in from next summer. And if we're not a Champions League team, we lessen our chances. Strike now. Man United, I believe, are the front runners. Man United, I believe, have, have built up a good rapport. Man United have made a good offer. I don't think Chelsea, Chelsea are not as serious as this as they are for Kukurea, as serious as they are for Fofana. I don't even think they're as serious for him, as in Benjamin Sisko, as they are Frankie de Jong. And Frankie de Jong is reliant on other things happening. But on both these deals, for different reasons, Man United have got to be quick. Man United have got to get these deals done. 
because Frankie de Jong, in my opinion, will not present itself as an opportunity again and can still fall, fall, fall through our fingers. And Cisco, by this time next year, I think will be on another level. I think he'll be a player that everybody's talking about as a future Bayern player, a future Real Madrid player. Remember, Real Madrid missed out on Haaland. They haven't got Kylian Mbappe as of now. He really is talented. I'm not saying he'll get to that level, but you don't want to run that risk. You want to get him now. 50 million euros is now being touted. And of course, Salzburg were going to push that price up as soon as multiple clubs became serious. And what you'll find is this isn't Chelsea or Newcastle or anybody reacting to Man United being involved. They will have all known about him. But it's only because of Man United's seriousness that other clubs are coming out the woodwork to make genuine proposals. And that's why, and I repeat it again, Man United have to strike now. Man United have to get these deals over the line. Just as Fabrizio Romano said, a big and important week. Get the right bid in, make the right personal terms and get it done. And when it comes to Frankie de Jong, as I've stated, you either get the player now. You either, sorry, let me rephrase that. With Frankie de Jong, you either go for another player now and get it done quick. Or you have to be 100% certain that you land him, even if Chelsea get involved. And with both these deals, we really will see whether Manchester United have improved on a recruitment basis or not. Do me a favor before you leave. Leave us your comments. Subscribe to the Football Terrace. Click out the, check out the links for both videos uh, from Melissa Reddy and Fabrizio Romano that we featured on the show. Until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.